Hills was a discount department store chain which operated from 1957 until 1999. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. This video was suggested by It's Joshua Jerry. Thanks for the suggestion. Have you heard about the toughest Nintendo game of all? It's called The Search for Nintendo. You explore one store and then another. But smart players go to Hills for Nintendo. And while no store has all the titles all the time, Hills has one of the biggest selections of Nintendo games anywhere, including the new Game Boy. It's the best way to win The Search for Nintendo. We're a different kind of discount store, and the proof is in the price. The first Hills department store opened up in Youngstown, Ohio in 1957. Founder Herbert H. Goldberger had operated hosiery stores before starting what quickly became a chain of discount stores. There were seven Hills stores by 1964 when the chain was sold to Shoe Company of America, SCOA Industries, Inc. By the mid-1960s, there were 12 Hill stores sprinkled through Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. Goldberger saw the company grow to 99 stores during his tenure as president, <clears throat> which ended when he turned the reins over to his son, Stephen A. Goldberger, in 1981. Under the new Goldberger leadership, the company grew to about 125 stores by mid-1980s. In 1980, a Boston-based takeover pro, Thomas H. Lee, helped Goldberger acquire SCOA through a leveraged buyout in 1985. All of the company's subsidiaries but Hills were sold off. but with a $642 million deal, left the discount retailer with substantial debt. Hills took on even more debt four years later when it bought 33 Gold Circle stores from Federated Department Stores. Those stores form part of the 41 new stores Hills opened in 1989. The expansion gamble did not prove to be a good one, however, the economy took a plunge, sales suffered, and Hill's efforts to restructure its balance sheet failed. To complicate matters further, many of its stores were in the heart of Walmart and Kmart territory. Carrying more than $900 million debt during a retailing recession, Hills could not afford to tune up its stores to take on its hefty competitors. The company filed a petition for relief under Chapter 11 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code in February of 1991. Hills management hired a former Sears exec to bring the company back to profit. The company closed 63 unprofitable stores and withdrew from some markets altogether, such as Nashville and the states of Georgia and Michigan. One of the shortcuts Hills took during remodeling was painting its stores white with a modest color trim. This cut the expense of warehousing a rainbow of paints and helped to highlight the merchandise. Another facet of Hills strategy was to target its primary customers, women shopping for values for themselves and their families. The merchandise mix at Hills was already tipped toward these customers with an emphasis on apparel and toys. The chain invested in new fixtures that displayed items so shoppers could see the fronts of the sweaters, jackets, and blouses rather than seeing long racks of clothes with only the sleeves showing. Hills had an advantage in that it mostly stocked soft goods and apparel, which generally commanded higher margins. In 1992, about half of Hills' sales came from apparel and soft goods. Hills also launched a line of private label apparel basics for children and adults called American Spirit. 
Toys were also a Hills trademark. Most bigger discounters stocked up on toys near the holidays, then trimmed back again. Hill's large year-round toy selection accounted for more than 10% of its sales. To make room, the company left items like sporting goods, appliances, automotive products, and lawn and garden supplies to its competitors. Hill's strongest lines were apparel and soft items like towels and sheets. By the end of 1993, 78 of the Hill's 151 stores had been remodeled and sales were a stunning 1.76 billion dollars. In October of 1993, the company emerged from bankruptcy and the chain accelerated by changing its name from Hills Department Stores, Inc. to Hills Store Company. In July of 1995, the CEO resigned, along with most of his senior executives, ending a tumultuous two-year siege for control of the regional discounter by Dick Stein Partners, Hill's largest stockholder. In December of 1998, Ames acquired Hills. At that time, Hills was operating 155 stores, covering 12 states and employing in excess of 20,000 employees. With the Hills acquisition, Ames expanded from 301 to 456 stores and became the nation's fourth largest discount chain behind Walmart, Kmart, and Target. Almost all Hills stores were renamed Ames by the end of 1999, even in markets where Ames and Hills overlapped. Ames, however, would experience its own financial difficulties due to the Hills purchase and would be out of business entirely by the end of 2002. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.